So good. Well, hi, Abby. How are you? Hey, I'm great. How are you? I'm in sweater weather officially in Minnesota, which is really sad. <laughs> I have to say, I'm definitely jealous of the fall weather. I'm for anyone out there. I'm located here in um, sunny Scottsdale. So it's definitely very warm. I have this on, but I'm wearing shorts because that's how hot it is. <laughs> so well, hi, everyone. Um, you know me. My name is Lindsay Rogers. I'm a Mortars Community Manager, and I'm also a Customer Success Manager as well. And today we're joined by Abby Murray. She's co-founder and CEO of Mortar. So we're so excited to have you on here. You're definitely the Mortar expert. So everybody, any questions you have, please send uh -oh. them to the Q&A. Uh -oh. Time to answer, yeah. So be aware, you're gonna get some good ones coming in. Um, so really quick too, I just wanted to let everybody know that for each school who's interested, we are offering a customized demo that would walk your students and your faculty through each sec each three sections of this webinar. We will be covering them today, but uh, we'll we'll send you some more information about this in our follow up email. So for anyone who's interested, just take a note of that and um, let us know because it's available. So um, well, thank you again so much for joining us today. We're excited to kind of get some information out there about mortar in the classroom and that initiative, and we have our expert joining us today. So um, just to get us started, Abby, could you explain to us, um, you know, why you started this program? Sure, yeah. I mean, Mortar, Mortar was founded to really digitize the entire design process and both for practicing professionals and for firms alike who um, can now use one single platform for project inspiration, for um, specking and sourcing products, for vetting pro teams. And these technological, technological advances are so important to put in application in the classroom early on to help develop students for the working world. But even more than that, so that's, that in and of itself is really important, but more than that, it's also an opportunity for us as a, a platform to develop for the future instead of for today. And this upcoming generation is accustomed to the technologies um, that push for efficiencies and visual inspiration. And so we have learned a ton from the students actually using our platform, probably more than they've learned from uh, the platform itself. So it's, it's really an equally beneficial um, program, both for us in learning and developing the platform, um, but also for the students to be able to use the resources that are out there today in, um, in the practicing environment after school. So that, yeah. Well, thank you for that. So can you explain just in more detail what this program actually is? Um, just kind of help the audience understand how students and faculty can benefit from the features available through Mortar and the program we've established. Yeah, so let me figure out if I can share my screen here and I will walk you through. Okay. Um, so there are really three components to the Mortar in the Classroom program. Um, we started this three years ago, so we've developed and morphed um, based on the demand and the responses from our group of, of um, involved class, uh, classes and campuses across the country. But the three components are obviously number one, use of, of the Mortar platform. Um, so we've developed landing pages for each of these, which Lindsay, we will make available after this webinar, correct? Okay, good. Um, so this will really walk, walk you through as a student or as a faculty member um, or as a, a program director, how these programs, how this whole program comes together. But um, first and foremost, use of the platform. So leveraging the uh, digital tools and resources available through, through the platform, which I'll show you live here in a second, but for searching for inspiration for your commercial projects, for sourcing products, for sourcing pros, connecting, and then collaborating with your project teams in what are called design rooms, which, which we'll also show you live. Um, this landing page talks to you through uh, each, of the, each of the aspects of that and the value that, br that it brings you as a student or uh, as a professor. And then the second component of it, which we're, not, we're just gonna touch on today, but more details to come, would be the scholarship opportunity that is available 
through the platform. There's a quick landing page here, um, pretty brief because more information is still um, being, be, being figured out, which will come out before the end of the year. Um, but this scholarship opportunity is a thousand dollar reward um, or award for a design competition that is all done virtually through our platform. So it really encourages students to adopt these new technologies that are, are out there in the real world, use them for their projects, gain efficiencies, streamline the way that they, they think and they work, and they end, um, end up with their final project and their renderings. So this, um, this scholarship opportunity will be part of the use of our platform, and I'll show you that here in a second as well. Um, and then the third component, which is new this year, uh, we're really, really excited about is the opportunity that students will have to showcase their portfolio um, and showcase it in the same way that companies are showcasing on our site today. So not only are they going to get the opportunity to use it and leverage it to build out their projects and their fin final, um, final projects for their classrooms, but they can also post these final projects in their portfolio digitally where the community of users is already um, out there. And I'll show you that sample as well. This particular piece is in development right now, so it has not launched yet. So if you go out to the site and try to do it today, um, what I'll show you is actually in our sandbox environment, but really exciting component. And one of the most demanded from and requested from our student groups that we visited um, we did a campus tour last year and the year prior, and some of the directors of the schools that we've been talking to and collaborating with have really helped us build out this, this program to include this portfolio section. Well, Abby, so. this is so exciting because yeah. students today, you know, they upload their portfolio to, let's just say, like a Wix page or something, and then they're responsible for driving traffic to their own portfolio website. So oh, how correct. exciting. Yeah, yeah. And that that really is the idea. These students are creating, um, you know, a free Wix page or Squarespace or using Behance. And they're responsible for pushing that information and those portfolio that work out to um, recruiters or, or uh, companies that they want to work with. And instead, now on Mortar, if they can showcase their work there, um, we bring in the audience and drive traffic to their profiles along with um, their ability to share it in a really professional way. So uh, really excited about that addition. That'll come over the next couple of weeks. So, Good. all right. I think that, yeah, so three components, mm -hmm. the platform itself, use of the platform itself, uh, the scholarship opportunity through use of the platform and uh, the portfolio showcase opportunity, all of which by the way are free. Yeah, so that's the best part too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. So great. Well, do you want to head into um, just doing a quick demo of the site? Yes. Yes. So. That, that is always the most fun to see it live and in action. So um, I'm already logged in, but as a student, um, use of the platform again is free. And all you need to do is register for with an email and a password and you're in and away you go. Um, that, that there will be a little sign up section here. Uh, right on the homepage of mortar.com. And what that will open up for you is access to over 30,000 project photos from over a thousand companies, both servicing companies, so architectural firms, design firms, um, engineering firms, brands, building product manufacturers, as well as the opportunity to collaborate and share and curate all of that information that you're, you're grabbing from those companies uh, within a personal profile uh, of your own. And so I'm already logged in, but I'll just kind of walk you through this homepage, which really gives you a high level of the things that you'll have access through through the platform. And uh, so all commercial projects all in one place, you're gonna see all of these different professionals showcasing their portfolio of work in finished project photos or installation photos with their products used within this space um, and project feeds, I'll show you here in a second, and finding products in finished spaces. So all of the photos within our site have tagging opportunities. So 
whether it be the products used within a space that's posted by a professional um, or, or the pro protein that brought the space to life, you're gonna be able to see all of that, what we like to say, information behind the inspiration, which is very different than what most students are doing today. They're sourcing their ideas through Instagram or Pinterest or Google Images to get the wheels spinning for, for their class project, um, which obviously is polluted with a lot of non-professional things. You're seeing cupcake recipes, new hairdos, all of the fun things, but not necessarily a professional platform that allows you to curate project information, real project information from real professionals out there, which is really also attracted to, attractive to professors because they want to make sure that their students are focused, that they're getting the right information about these projects or these products. And um, those, plat those alternative platforms don't really do that. So yes. that's what really excites. I definitely agree with you on that because when you're looking for something on Pinterest, how frequently do you click an image and it doesn't even take you back to where that image came from. It's someone's right. blog from like 2011. So right. I think what's so great about mortar is like you were saying that information about that project is available within the photo itself. Correct. So let's go right into the photo feed, which is where um, most of our traffic lives. Um, you can search, actually, I'm going to show you the, the main search feature first. Let me go back. So it's a search based site. Um, and imagery driven. So all of these visualizations will help drive and promote um, building a more beautiful business. And so if say a student wants to um, look for, they have a, a healthcare project that, that they need inspiration for. Um, they can search by any keyword, so healthcare, lighting, um, wayfinding, whatever keyword they want. And then there's three ways or three, four, I guess here, that they can filter down their results. So they can look through the photo feed and just start getting visualizations of what they wanna do. They can look at the professionals and see their different portfolios of work as they relate to their search term, or they can look at products related to healthcare um, and begin to navigate uh, through the site that way. Obviously that same um, experience is on the main navigation here, but for the most part, I think the the, main bulk of our traffic and where students are most likely to use um, is that inspiration feed. And this is populated by, again, those thousand companies that are already showcasing on our site. Here you can filter down by sectors. So say you have a hospitality project you're working on or you're tasked with some lighting assignments, you can search by product type and you can just begin to get inspired by all of these beautiful photos done by actual professionals out there in the working world today. And so if I want to click on any of these photos, all of the details about the project are contained within the photo. So I click on this interface. I love this green wall in this photo uh, and the carpet showcase. This is posted by interface. I can click the product tag and see information about the products used within the space. This particular one just has the, the flooring tagged, but it could be seating, it could be the green wall, it could be lighting. Um, and I can grab product information about that particular product use. I can grab BIM information about it. Um, all of this is contained within one single photo view and makes students' lives a lot easier when it comes to particularly sourcing products but also gaining inspiration for, um, for their project. Yeah, this is great. Uh, yeah, and then I will show, let's see, what other one should we click on here? Um, so let's go Rutledge Construction. There's a construction company showcasing their work here. And um, you can see there's a designer that worked with them on the project. Another great feature that, that faculty really enjoy is the fact that they can start, students can start to see how these project teams are, are br really bringing the space to life and how, how there's more than just one firm typically assigned to these commercial projects. Well, and the great thing too about, let's just focus on, on this photo for instance, is Rutledge has gone ahead and tagged, like you said, the designer. And what's so great about that is this designer also has a profile here on Mortar. So, so easily, if you wanted more information about that company, 
click it, go over there, and you can learn about them too. Right. Yep. And yep. Any of these clicks that I'll I'll, I'll click on here in a second go to that company's profile. I can also follow companies right from um, this this same view, which allows me to stay on top of some of the trends that are that are going on in the industry, whether it be a construction firm or a, a building product manufacturer. Or maybe I just like the style of that particular design firm. And so I want to follow them and get more inspiration through my feed or better yet, maybe I want to follow a few professionals that I'm looking at to work at, you know, in the future. And so I want to stay informed on what they're up to so that when it comes time for a, 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 an interview and applying for some of these jobs, I have a competitive advantage because I know what's happening with these firms um, because I'm getting alerts from my Warner profile on all the companies that I follow. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and save this photo to my design room. And this is the, the other feature of the use of the platform that um, students are going to find most practical in their coursework. So similar to maybe a Pinterest board or saving uh, at, on Instagram, we have these, these galleries that you can save to that are private to you unless you share them with a collaborator. You can select a design room that you've already created. So say you're working on a healthcare project and you want to work that into um, the rendering that the final project, you can click on that and save that to your design room or create a new one. And I'll just throw this in here just for fun. And then I could hit my design room right from here. I'm going to follow this company too, just to show you how it all works. If I click through to this company, um, you can see how those photo feeds are brought to life on, on the main, main feed because all of those projects that are posted by these professionals are fed into that common feed. Mm -hmm. I can find information about the professional, um, look at more projects from that professional that, that have been posted, find out information through um, product tags and pro tags again but I'm gonna to go to my design room and show you how this all works. Actually, I'll start at my profile. So as a student, um, and really any end user has access to this, but as a student, here are all of the companies that you're following for the various reasons I just mentioned. You're gonna get alerts as those companies post new content to their portfolio. And here are some of the most recent um, images added to some of those companies that I follow. So kind of your favorite speed, if you will, um, of information about some of the companies that, that you want to pay attention to. And then the design rooms are, are that Pinterest style board that I mentioned. The biggest difference here is, of course, the information that is retained within those photos that is really important to your project. So um, all of those product tags that are, are hot spotted throughout the image or professionals that were tagged as project contributors on those spaces are all contained and retained within that design room photo save. So if I go through, you can see how many um, design rooms I've created. Students can use this to organize based on project work or, um, you know, really however they want to do that. Yeah. And what's great too is like you mentioned is that these will start off as private, but I think you mentioned before too that you can invite people to collaborate with you as well. So, you know, we're looking at your screen here and all those little circles with the faces, those are all of the people that you've invited to collaborate on these certain design rooms. Yep, yep. So let's go ahead and click on one that I have a few um, collaborators on. And this, this particular project, um, I have, there's four other people within the project that can collaborate digitally on some of the inspirations that I found. And what's fun about this particular project is, is there's actually plans uploaded into this, this um, particular design room as well. And so students can use this to not only gather the inspiration and talk through the elements of the image that are inspiring their project. For example, maybe it's the lighting in the space or the flooring or the furnishings. 
um, or, or the architecture of the ceiling that are going to inspire a healthcare facility based on a restaurant, right? Um, or a hotel, I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> but- It could be a hotel. <laughs> I think it's a restaurant. <laughs> um, but they can comment back and forth with their project team on all of the information that's really driving their rendering, their final rendering. And what students have done in the past is use this as a tool to collaborate with classmates and to collaborate with their professors. So now the professor can weigh in as they're get working through, um, through some of the ideas they have that will end up in their final project. And they can also load in plans um, for the particular project and zero in on some of the details that they want their professor to see as they show their work toward um, their final project. And um, you can make comments back and forth in the photo at the photo level here you can see or you can um, and here you can see all of the information contained within that photo view. Um, you never lose that or you can make comments back and forth as a project team on the entire design room level, which is really handy when it comes to um, just whole project teams working together and dialing in all of the details. Yeah, and all the comments, you know, they come up in real time. So you can see the first comment may have been in March, but then you're commenting in April, whatever it might be. It's all in real time and that timestamp will always be with the comment. So, you know, you know, and not only can you use Mortar, obviously, on on its website, but you could download the app too. So, you know, you've had a long day in school and you're commenting back and forth with your professor and you can literally pull up your phone, lay in on the couch and be commenting in real time. So, yep, yep. And obviously now more than ever, um, we need these digital collaboration tools. And I'm sure while this was introduced three years ago, this year is such a prime opportunity for these students to really start embracing that, that collaboration. And now it can be done on one platform. They don't have to source here and specify here and find pros through all their different websites and look for inspiration without the information. And now it can all be done and aggregated together on one single platform um, in one single view oftentimes. And um, students are, are really, really excited about that streamlined efficiency. Yeah, definitely. And I think it's important to point out, too, that on top of um, images that are found on Mortar, um, also images found someplace else, or maybe you took something with your cell phone, but it's relevant to a project that you're working on. You know, as you can see here, you can quickly browse photos, upload photos, or even put a link directly in here and add it to the design room. Yeah, great point. So this is exactly where a student would load up their final renderings or um, load in other photos or, or drawings, for example, that and plans that they, they want to showcase and talk through as a group. And that brings up another point before I leave. So I'm glad you mentioned that, Lindsay. Um, here you can do an export of, of the presentation itself. So the student, the, the project team um, has pulled together all of these ideas, commented back and forth and put rationale behind what they like, what they didn't like, and how that led to their final rendering. Now they can go into presentation mode and present that to the entire class over Zoom or soon in person, right? Um, as a in a class setting, they can go into presentation mode and really talk through all of these things in, again, in one platform. So they can do a really, have a really rich um, experience in presenting this information and including comments so you can really start to see the dialogue that went into and thought that went into the project. Yeah, that's great. Um, so this is all available through the, the, the free profile um, and all of the value I think that it brings students becomes really apparent and faculty as well. Um, and it brings me to the scholarship opportunity which is really all done within the design room. So what we want to do is make sure that we are encouraging this future generation to adopt technologies, right? And to leverage them to streamline the way that they work. And what better way to do that than with 
the design rooms and with mortar and all that it offers. So the scholarship opportunity allows them to do all of the things we just talked about, really work through their project to the final, um, to the final rendering within the platform, sourcing and specifying the products they're using, um, talking through everything with the team, digital lead, and then loading in their final renderings and their drawings. And in doing so, um, they can then enter for a scholarship opportunity. And what happens is we'll, we'll be building out a panel of judges, like just like we did last year, um, an excellent expert panel of judges from some of the top firms in the industry that will then get exposure to um, the work of these students, which is also a huge win for these students. Um, but then get critiques and, and expert feedback on all of the work that they're doing. So think about it as a digital design competition and digital portfolios, no longer the three ring binder and the in-person panel of judges and the huge travel expense that goes with all of that. Um, it can all be done virtually and it went really well last year. So we're anticipating an even bigger turnout this year, especially due to the online virtual environment that we've all been forced into. Um, but this is, this is where it will happen. So we'll be announcing our digital panel of judges, I uh, believe in Q4 before the end of the year. And then students will be given the information to invite these panelists to their design rooms if they want to be a part of um, this opportunity the panelists will then, or the judges will then um, weigh in via the comment features mm -hmm. and ultimately select um, who they believe is, is the top candidate for the scholarship award. Oh, great, and I wanted to ask too, when will more information about that be available? Like the time frame for students to apply, all of that? Sure, that's a great question. Um, actually, the second a student um, creates a profile in order and um, indicates that they're a student or emerging professional in their category as their onboarding step, they will be added to an email campaign list where information will be regularly sent to them on the enhancements to make sure that the portfolio is available to them, which we'll get to next. Um, when the scholarship opens up, what the rules are to that, um, get them to this landing page that I, uh, I showed you earlier that talks through the details Mm -hmm. and then um, fills them in on the judging panel that that will be coming and that all should be happening over the next couple of months okay. so they'll be getting regular regular drips of information from us when they sign up for an account as a student so information will continue to be available especially with dates so um, you won't miss any of that information that will be sent to you so now what it, let's go ahead and look at the third component of the webinar um, the portfolio piece the most exciting sure. piece. Yeah. even um, you know internally from my team the customer success team we're so excited to learn more about this um, this option that's going to be available Yes, yes, this is definitely by popular demand and we are so excited to be able to provide this as an option for students. Um, so this is our sandbox environment. This is not the live site. So if you go out again to mortar.com and you try to do this, you can't yet. So just hang tight and we will send you information as soon as that's available. Um, these features are being in, worked on right now in development and they will be going live probably within the next Definitely within this month, I should say, and I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that. <laughs> um, so if you were a student and you wanted to um, showcase your work to companies that are looking for their next hire, their next designer, their next architect, um, their next professional, and um, you're going to have the opportunity to showcase just as a company would. And if I go to the pro feed, this is where student portfolios will live. And um, as you can see here, you know, you've got, you've got some of the leading companies in the industry that are showcasing their work through the portfolios that I teased earlier. Mm -hmm. um, but companies will come out and they will select, and this will all be done through our marketing efforts and communication with some of the features and enhancements. So we'll take on all the heavy lifting of making sure that these companies know this feature exists. 
but they will come out and they will select student or emerging professional as their prototype. So they'll hit this fil filter and what will be populated will be all of these student portfolios for those who have created these, these profiles. Um, this particular one is fun to use as an example. Elizabeth, she was our uh, recipient of the scholarship last year. And so we've just done a, a, brief, um, a brief profile to give you guys an idea of how that will come together. But the student will show up, maybe a hero image of their top project that they, they're most proud of a brief description of that. Um, obviously, we're hoping there will be more than just one, one portfolio showcase here. But oh, this there will be. Yeah, this will be a full, will be. <laughs> full feed of students that are showcasing their work here. And once you get into their profile, you're gonna see a feed of projects. This one just has one in there right now, but a feed of projects that, that they've worked on uh, obviously renderings or even if they were an intern and supported some projects in any way within a real firm that's certainly eligible to be posted here. A description about themselves and their areas of expertise. So now companies will know what they're looking, um, what type of position they're looking for. And this one may be interior architecture and design. Um, maybe the sectors that they want to focus on that they've, they've worked hard on. Um, this particular one, the workplace, education, healthcare. Um, and this feed down here actually indicates some of the companies that have been sourced in the project itself. So whether they be brands or pros, um, in this particular case, I think they're primarily brands that are showcased. But here's what's really cool. So if I click on the project gallery tab, it'll pull up all the projects that this student has posted to their portfolio click into that project, grab more information about um, the project itself. They can put all of the information in there that they want to really describe the work that went into this project, the thought. Um, it, very similar to a portfolio where they're wanting to describe all of the details of the project. Um, these are the things that are going to att attract the, the employers. And then the renderings of their work can be posted here. So these are all renderings of Elizabeth's award-winning project. And it's a healthcare facility. She's loaded in each section of the project. She's also, which is really, really neat, she's tagged the products used within her rendering. So now she's able to showcase how she's pulling together and sourcing some of these products for the, the space itself. The other cool thing about this is, and these are just basic tags, so they could be much more detailed. They could include the material bank link or BIM object or all the product information that they want here. Um, but what's neat about this is you can really begin to see how, these, how much these students know about products. And brands, especially, are going to be really excited about this and schools love this as well because a lot of these studios are sponsored by BPMs, by building product manufacturers who want to create brand loyalty with these students during their education, much like Mortar is doing with Mortar in the Classroom. But now with the ability for them to publish these portfolios and tag the products that were used within the space, um, maybe tag companies, so maybe it's a a prof adjunct professor and they can tag their company and get some visibility there, which would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, but these brands then will get notifications saying, hey, this student um, just tagged you in their rendering. So now these brands are getting notifications and getting value out of the sponsored classrooms that they're um, a part of and paying for. Mm -hmm. And they begin to see the activity that these students um, have with their products in their projects, which is really, really neat. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, say this is, okay, Mohawk flooring. Now Mohawk's going to get a notification saying, hey, mm -hmm. Elizabeth McDonald, student at uh, University of Idaho, has just tagged your product in her rendering. Yeah, and, what a great feature, too, to be included on that. Right, and it really helps these schools um, 
with with that ROI reporting that they need to show that the this these studio sponsorships or research studies that these brands are investing in to get that loyalty up front and the awareness up front from these students is paying off, mm -hmm. um, which is really exciting. That's great. And Abby, um, we have just about 10 minutes left of the okay. webinar. So um, I wanted to ask you really quick, it looks like we've gone through the tagging and you know not notifications to brands, which is such a, so huge. And I'd like to know too, so how will these students be found here on Mortar? I know there is the search option, but what about any, um, any kind of efforts that Mortar will take to kind of drive traffic? Sure, great question. Um, we have a full marketing team here. So anytime there's new features or enhancements to our site, those are regularly drift out to our current subscriber base, as well as any prospective subscribers. So through more public channels, um, like our social channels, obviously email campaigns, um, and webinars like this where we're, we're featuring um, some of the new enhancements to our site, but also through some of our partners. We have a partnership with IIDA that is being um, announced next week. The following week, a partnership with ASID is being announced, and we're working really closely with them to ensure that um, that their audiences also know the entire AMD community knows that this platform is avail available to them. Um, so our hope is that they can also help spread the word about the portfolio section of our site and ensure that companies know they can go and use it as a recruiting tool at any time as they're using the site for their day to day. Oh, well, that's great. Work. Thank you for that. And then um, just a few other questions too. So we had one come in from UNC Greensboro. Okay. And the question was, is how can students access more information about the project, like blueprints, for instance? Oh, that's a great question. Um, so as I showed you on the photo feed, I think I'm still, hang on, I'm just going to switch over to my oh, sure. other tab here. Um, the photo feed has all finished photos. So, um, so you actually would want to visit the company's profile in order to see some of the back end information or maybe macro views of certain details of the project. But that's a really great point. Um, let me just bring you in, bring you into one of those. So let's click on GC. That's not a pro. I probably want to see a pro. Well, and I know we'll go in there. These, well, and some of these companies too, you know, they go ahead and they do show before and after or blueprints, but another great place to get that too is from their profile itself, their web link is listed there, their contact information, and those companies will truly house and have all of that information for them. Very true. But that's, that's a really great point to bring up. And I think something that our team could communicate to these companies is the value that those before and after photos bring or the floor plans bring to other uh, our other users who may find those really valuable like students but i will say that some post them mm -hmm. to their showrooms or to their project galleries they're just not fed into the common photo feed um mm -hmm. because they're they're um they're not finished projects so we're trying to drive traffic to their profile which is all those beautiful images but um definitely something that we could look to communicate out to these these employers but uh, another option would be to hit their website and see some of the information behind the projects yeah and then too um, when a student does reach out to a company it's not truly just a cold reach out because you're both on mortar and that's kind of your common that's what you have in common with this company you say yeah. oh i found you on mortar i just wanted more information i feel like these companies would really welcome um, these students reaching out to them Definitely, definitely. And it really shows that both the student and the company are forward thinking and adopting these emerging technologies. And I think that's, that's, that would become a really warm conversation. You're right. Mm -hmm. So um, we have a few minutes left and I have a couple other questions for you. Okay. So um, a little off topic from it, but does Mortar invite co-hosts, maybe like brands to um, webinars or um, how do we get access to these webinars? That's a great question. Yes and yes. 
Um, yes, we have co-hosted webinars that we can do with any, any brand or company that wants to be a part of that. So just follow up with us after um, the webinar and request more information. Those are all part of our media kit opportunities. Um, and students are really interested in this too. In fact, a couple of the directors of these programs have asked if students can be a part of the webinars that we host with brands or with professionals as a way to educate them on the going ons of the industry. So um, yes, we do. And what was the second part of the question? And um, just to find or access to these other to these webinars, how can they find access? Oh, to sure, they are on the learning lounge, mm -hmm. which we will also follow up with. Um, and they are in the section called webinars. <laughs> yeah. We'll send you. Yeah, we'll send you that link too. Yeah, yeah. these questions coming in there, we have both answer them. So yeah, yeah, we'll send you the link too, so that you have access to them. Perfect. And then um, one more is, uh, why would a student upload their renderings to Mortar? So final work, um, you know, why, why would a student want to do that? Sure, so uh, there's two sides to this, right? So in the personal profiles um, where you're loading them into your design room and that's private to you, keep in mind that that can also be a tool for collaboration. So if you're inviting your professor and want them to weigh in on the progress and the flow and the thought of um, start like that inspiration to the final final renderings. Those are really good ways to showcase that. And if you recall the presentation mode that's available, um, if you're presenting to the class, you're going to want to show that finished um, finished product once you've um, built up from the ideas and the concepts that you had to begin with. The other side to that would be obviously on the portfolio side where um, that is your portfolio and you do want to put those projects in front of an audience of recruiters or employers who are looking for their next hire. So that gives you the opportunity to showcase your work, tag the products that were used within this space and really show a holistic view of um, your talent and expertise. Great, thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just share really quickly um, our contact information. Oh, sure. Do I need to stop sharing? Nope, I can share over you. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, sharing the contact information. Um, so uh, everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we have just about a minute left. So take a screenshot of this. You have Abby's contact information. You have mine as well. So we'd love to hear from you at any time. Um, like we said earlier too, we will be sending a follow-up email with the recording to this webinar and just a few other fun links for you. So you can have more information about Mortar in the Classroom. Um, and before we go too, I just want to encourage everyone to follow Mortar on social media because we post updates not only about the subscribers on the site, we post updates about new initiatives, new partnerships, IIDA, ASID, and um, you know, just new webinars coming up as well. So thank you so much everyone for your time and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Yeah, thanks so much. Take care. Thank you.